Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be going over problem 1E from Matt 2023. The first few positive whole numbers that are not powers of 3 are 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, and so on. What is the sum of all the positive whole numbers that are less than 3 to the power of 10 and are not powers of 3? So we're adding up all the positive integers uh, less than 3 to the 10 that are not powers of 3. Which of the following five options is it? OK, let's just dive straight into a solution here. So what are they asking us to calculate? Well, basically, we can think of this as adding up all the numbers up to 3 to the 10 or 3 to the 10 minus 1. And then we're going to subtract off all the powers of 3. And notice here that they're including 1 as a power of 3 because they've excluded it from this list in their example. Uh, so that means they're going to subtract off 1 uh, plus 3 plus 9 plus so on all the way up to 3 to the 9 because that's the last power of 3 in this list. OK, now we just need to work out what this equals. Well, this thing here is just the sum of the first n natural numbers where n is 3 to the 10 minus 1. And there's a very nice formula for that. It's n, n plus 1 over 2. So this is going to equal 3 to the 10 minus 1 times 3 to the 10 minus 1 plus 1, so 3 to the 10, all over 2. And now how about this guy here? Well, this is just a geometric series with first term 1, common ratio 3, and there are 10 terms here. So we can just use our formula. So this is going to be a, which is 1, times uh, r to the n minus 1, so 3 to the 10 minus 1, all over the ratio 3 minus 1, like this. And this is quite nice because 3 minus 1 is 2, so the denominators already match up. So this is 3 to the 10 minus 1 times 3 to the 10 minus, and then this thing here is going to be 3 to the 10 minus 1 over 2. And so now if we just maybe expand this guy and bring it all under one denominator, we're going to get 3 to the 20 minus 3 to the 10 uh, minus another 3 to the 10, and then uh, uh, minus minus 1 is plus 1 here. So we get this thing here, and this is 3 to the 20 uh, minus 3 to the 10 minus 3 to the 10 plus 1, which kind of looks a bit like x squared minus 2x plus 1. And in fact, it is uh, x minus 1 squared if we just set x equals 3 to the 10. And so this is going to be 3 to the 10 minus 1 squared all over 2. And the answer is therefore option A. And that's our solution. Uh, so hopefully that solution all makes sense, just using... Um, you know, both uh, the formulae for the sum of the first n terms, which in, is actually just a very particular arithmetic series. And then this guy here is a geometric series. So doing one thing minus the other and then just using algebra uh, to simplify this and noticing that this is very nicely 3 to the 10 minus 1 squared. Cool. Awesome. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.